Today on Dale and Talks Tone, we're gonna do another string experiment. What's going on everybody? So, uh, last week we did this weird thing where we put acoustic strings on an electric guitar and we talked about why that worked and why it didn't uh, but what if you put electric strings on an acoustic guitar so uh, I've got my McPherson here and we're playing currently these are Diodario XT's I think um, I've seen other people do this video you know this idea for a video but I feel like they put they always put tens on it. I'm gonna do like for like gauges. So I'm gonna put a set of Ernie Ball 13 to 56s on this guitar today because I wanna see how it feels. And the other thing we're gonna do is remember in the last video, we talked about one of the reasons why strings feel different is because the core to wrap ratio is different. Um, we'll get into what that means. If you missed that other video, you can go watch it. Uh, if, remember, if you don't remember what that core to wrap ratio means, I'll show you later because I want to actually take some of these strings apart and measure what they do, or, you, you know, what the differences are. So we're going to do that uh, with a caliper here in just a few minutes. But first of all, let's play this guitar with acoustic strings on it. This is just the guitar that I play every day. <laughs> today so hopefully this works get these whipped off of here and put some electric strings on it. So before we play this thing, one of the things I want to do is measure, because remember in the last video we talked about the reasons why various strings can feel different, even between brands. So like, <clears throat> these are basically the same, uh, they're actually both Diodarios. I thought these were Ernie Balls, I couldn't remember what I bought. So they're both Diodarios. These are 13 to 56 electric versus 13 to 56 acoustic. But what I'm curious about is the core to wrap diameter difference. What that means is this is a 56 low, wait, this is a 56 low E string. This is a 56 low E string. So the outside diameter is gonna basically be the same. But what is the inside diameter? Because that's how they can change the feel of the string. The core diameter of this, uh, the core diameter can be different versus the wrap. This is the wrap to core ratio. So let's pull this apart, pull some wrap off of this acoustic string so we can measure it, measure the core with the calipers. There we go. So the core of the low E on the acoustic strings is 19 thousandths of an inch thick. The core of the low E on the electric strings, same outside gauge, is 18 thousandths. So my guess would be that this one, the electric strings are going to feel slightly slinkier even though the outside diameter is still the same. And this is why it's good to try various, even if you're just playing acoustic or electric and you're not doing this weird swapping around thing, it's always good 
to try different brands of strings to see if you can feel different feels because this is how from brand to brand they'll change how a guitar string feels again this is a 56 gauge low e and this one was a 56 gauge low e but the internal core is is thicker on the acoustic one thinner on the acoustic by a thousandth of an inch which is really interesting and then the outside core is a different diameter to co compensate for it so they're both thir uh, both 56s very cool let's play this thing all right That was something flying out of a tree and hitting my Jeep. We're having a record between wind gusts today. So impressions, I'm so familiar with this guitar, it's just, it's kind of funny. Uh, and first impressions, the higher strings feel exactly the same. Makes sense because they are the same gauge, right? The internal cores is gauge. The G string feels about the same. This is a wound G on these 13 electrics. The E, A, and the D are definitely slinkier. And you can hear it. A little bit of rattle, right? So it's weird because it's the same exact string gauge, a little bit of rattle. Now, you might be wondering, yeah, but the neck relief, the adjustment on your guitar has changed. And the answer is no, it hasn't, for two reasons. Uh, well, the reason is that my guitar will be a little bit different than yours um, because it's not wood it's all carbon fiber and this guitar does not have a truss rod it's so stiff that it doesn't matter what string gauge i put on it it stays the same it doesn't move so i can check my neck relief right now and tell you that it's exactly what it was when the acoustic strings were on there i can change string gauges and it doesn't even matter So the, what I, the reason I'm telling you that is the rattle that we're getting is not from lower or screwed up guitar setup. It's coming from the actual slinkiness of the string itself, which is kind of cool about this setup. So I can test that like, like for like, if that makes sense. Now, as far as sound goes, It sounds fine. Is it, it's a sound, right? It doesn't sound bad. It just sounds different. Um, it sounds it sounds okay. Do does everybody like it? Probably not. Like you're probably saying, I don't like that compared to the acoustic strings. And some people are saying, oh, it doesn't sound so bad. You know, obviously that part's relative. <laughs> 
I will put in the link to this description, the strings that I used, and there is a couple other brands of strings that actually do this on purpose, where you can put a nickel set of strings on an acoustic guitar. Um, which would be helpful if you played a magnetic pickup. I don't have a magnetic pickup in this, so uh, it's no point in testing it. I do have an understaddle pickup, but that's not relevant, I don't think, when we're just talking about how feel is. Um, if I had a magnetic pickup, I would definitely do a side-by-side -side comparison and see if these strings were louder. Um, because all nickel strings are gonna be louder. If you go watch that last video we just did, you'll figure that out. <laughs> I don't know it's kind of fun um it does make you want to play it more like an electric guitar but uh it is slinkier and softer and on your guitar with a regular truss rod and wood and everything you're probably gonna have to adjust that the neck relief the truss rod probably a quarter turn or something eighth of a turn just enough uh, to take out a little bit of relaxation that that neck is gonna have. What's the difference between doing this and putting acoustic strings on an electric? Well, we don't have to worry about magnetism. We don't have to worry about the pickup working properly. So literally, the only difference between this and the acoustic strings that were on here in this situation is just the feel and the setup. Um, now on this guitar the setup is not different, but on a normal guitar it would be. So an eighth of a turn probably on a truss rod and and playing field difference. That's all it really is. And of course sound, you know. I would say that putting acoustic strings on an electric guitar, like we did the other day, is not as desirable and makes kind of no sense. I don't know why anybody would do that. Putting Electric strings on an acoustic, however, might be worth experimenting with for yourself. Now, most of the videos that I've seen, I mentioned this at the beginning, have put like tens on an acoustic, and it doesn't make sense because the feel is so totally different. But you could probably play around with string gauges on your acoustic and get the feel to feel pretty similar and then have that sound you want or I don't know, you could play around with it, a couple of different, I could probably go to a, uh, this is a 56, I could probably go to a 58 or a 60 on the low E and get like a heavier feel to it, but I kind of like that slinkier, it's kind of fun, it's kind of fun. Yeah, acoustic on an electric doesn't make sense, but electric on an acoustic is worth the 10 bucks to try it. I, I would, I mean I did it obviously for you, but do it. Uh, I'll put a link to a couple of things that I think will work well, like strings and stuff that I think will work well in the description of this video. And I think you should give it a shot. It's kind of fun. Um, this is one of those wacky things that, you know, that we do around here and I think it's a good idea to at least try it, experiment. Even if you think it's dumb and you never do it again, at least you can say you did it. You know what I mean? Awesome. Uh, make sure you check out our video, our live video on Thursday. Um, we do a Q&A, which is really cool. Um, if you want to ask a guitar tech question, um, you can do a couple of things. You can join our Facebook group. I'll put a link to it in the description. Um, you can join our Patreon. Uh, I'll put a link to that in the description. And you can become a YouTube member. There's a little box down there that you can click. That works much, much better than sending me a random Instagram message or Facebook message. I get like so many of those every day that I, I can't really even answer them. Um, I use those for like business correspondence, so it's really hard to filter through all that stuff. So if you want, and like the Facebook thing is free, um, you know, just a matter of whatever your level of commitment is. I just mentioned that because I've gotten a couple of like nasty messages. I've seen some nasty messages. You never answer your, well, I can't. I, it's, I can't. So join the Facebook group. There's an awesome community over there that um, it's not just me, it's a bunch of pretty knowledgeable folks and it's pretty fun, it's pretty fun in there and uh, then you get the benefit of all, all those folks and not just me, which is really cool. And I am in there, but you know. And then um, the Patreon thing, of course, I make sure that I answer every question in there uh, during our live on Thursday. So 
Thanks for hanging out. This has been cool. We will see you Thursday during our live video. Oh, and subscribe and blah, 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 blah. You know what to do. Little bells. Little bells, little buttons. See you later. Go buy some electric strings, put on your acoustic.